Roger Davidson is the president of Oakton Advisory Group, a retail consultancy firm. He was a former Walmart and Super Value executive and played a part in funding Peapod. Also with us, Meredith Whitney. So it's great to talk to you now. If you're a Kroger or a Walmart or Fresh Direct, are you scared by this move from Amazon? Uh, you're worried about the move, uh, this latest move from Amazon. Uh, they're going to come into the marketplace. They'll be a new entrant, a new competitor. So sure you are. What is going to be Amazon's biggest challenge in entering this market? I think Amazon's biggest challenge is going to be controlling the supply chain for a group of products they haven't been in before. Things like fresh products. Uh, refrigerated products, frozen products. Yeah, let's talk about this world, Roger, because it's not just like selling books. They have to get fresh produce, get it in warehouses before it gets stale, ship it out. I mean, talk about how difficult it is, the day-to-day -day operations for an Amazon to get into online grocery. It's going to be uh, difficult. Uh, the As you know, they've been working on it for six years in Seattle. Uh, you have uh, Freezers to worry about, refrigerated units in your storage warehouses, you get uh, refrigerated frozen containers the product has to be delivered on. This product can spoil, it can go out of date, so it's a different animal than what they've been dealing with before. Meredith Whitney with us here as well. Does, does it stand out to you? I mean, Amazon has known its business model that it, it doesn't mind losing money to get a bigger reach into new areas like that. I think it's a major announcement. Right? Look, as New Yorkers, we all love Fresh Direct, right? So I, you know, it's not a joy to go to the grocery store. I don't like look forward to it. It's a hassle, right? So, oh, God, I ran out of that. I ran out of that. Um, so I Meredith think Whitney, the last time you went to the grocery store, you got in a fist fight in aisle four <laughs> with some guy over municipal <laughs> bonds. I remember that. It wouldn't that. be a shocker, right? Um, uh, but it, you know, it speaks to pricing and it speaks to, look, you know, uh, uh, drug stores. Who would ever thought they'd buy their you know, drug store items from Amazon? I do. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Amazon. And so I think you know, to underestimate what it can do is, is a mistake. And you know, clearly, they could easily buy Fresh Direct, so you know, and learn that skill set. Well, Roger, why wouldn't it buy Fresh Direct and just have access to all of that infrastructure and capability? Well, I think uh, Amazon in the past has done their own thing, and uh, I think they're looking beyond Fresh Direct. They're looking to a broader array of products. They want to integrate the products they have into their existing facilities and get some synergies on the products they have. I think. With their integrated supply chain, they'll be able to lower cost and probably build a lower cost model than what Fresh Direct has right now. When they lower costs, Mr. Davidson, do they do that by hard negotiations with people that sell them broccoli? Do they do it by charging me more? Where is the dynamic for Jeff Bezos? I think they're going to have to do it in uh, the supply chain, Tom. Yeah. Uh, being very efficient in the way they warehouse the product, distribute it on trucks, the, the amount of product that they buy, how it rides together to uh, the consumer at store level. That's where they're going to win. It's going to be on supply chain, it's going to be on technology, their ability to uh, predict the customer's orders and then predict their orders for the products to fill them. And Roger, what we understand is it's an almost $600 billion market groceries. You worked in it right in the middle at Super Value, at some of these other chains. How crowded is the space right now with some of these companies? Uh, the space is crowded and you're seeing some fallout in the traditional retailers as the uh, consumer shifts to alternative formats like uh, the club stores, the Whole Foods, the specialty stores, the Trader Joe's. I think that's going to continue. Amazon is just another alternative format in my mind, another way to buy uh, different products that are value.